cartographic projection systems in engineering drawing. This video introduces four different projection systems for orthographic or multi-view projections. These projection systems are first angle projection, second angle projection, third angle projection and the fourth angle projection systems. Now what are the projection systems and why do we use only the first angle and third angle projection systems in engineering drawing? We learnt in another video that an object can be placed in either of the four quadrants if we divide the space in four quadrants using two orthogonal planes, the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. If the object is placed in the first quadrant and the views are projected on the horizontal plane, and the vertical plane, then this system is known as first angle projection systems. Likewise, if the object is in the second quadrant, then it is the second angle projection, third quadrant is for the third angle projection, and the fourth quadrant is for the fourth angle projection system. Now let us see how multi-view or orthographic projections are made in each projection system. We will start with the first angle projection system which will be in the first quadrant. So this is the first quadrant. We have the VP, the vertical plane, and HP, the horizontal plane. Now let us place an object, a cuboid, in the first quadrant, which we have just now made. This cuboid cuboid is above the HP and in front of the VP. The observer is looking from the right hand side. In the first angle projection, the object is in between the observer and the plane of projection. So the observer is looking at the object and the front view can be made on the VP. The front view will be exactly what the observer is, is able to see. Now for the top view, the observer looks from the top. Here also, the object is in between the observer and the plane of projection. So the top view can be projected on the HP. Again, the top view is exactly what the observer will see from the top, from the top of the object. The top view is formed on the HP. So this is the way we can form front view and the top view in the first quadrant. Now HP is rotated clockwise to bring both VP and HP in 2D for orthographic projection on a drawing sheet. So after rotation, this is how we will present the views, the front view and the top view in the first angle projection system. So first we draw the reference line and the front view will be above the reference line. The top view will come below the reference line because top view is formed on the HP and HP is rotated. The side view, the left hand side view will be presented on the right side of the front view. So front view is shown above the reference line, the top view is below the reference line. And the left hand side view is presented on the right side of the front view. So this is the convention of first angle projection system. Now let's look at the third angle projection system. The object is in the third quadrant. So the object is below the HP and behind the VP. The observer is looking from the right side such that the plane of projection is in between the object and the observer. The front view is made on the VP of the view that the observer can see, imagining that the vertical plane is transparent. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the front view of the object. For the top view, the observer looks from the top such that the plane of projection is again between the observer and the object. Here also the plane of projection is assumed to be transparent. So the observer can see through the horizontal plane and the top view is formed on the horizontal plane and this view is exactly what the viewer, what the observer will, will see of the object. So this is in the third quadrant and it is called third angle projection. Now we rotate the horizontal plane clockwise such that the HP and the VP are in 2D or same plane. This is also like opening up of the third quadrant. On the drawing sheet we will present the final views as shown here. So first the reference line XY then the top view will come above the reference line because top view is on the horizontal plane which is rotated and it comes above the reference line. The front view will be below the reference line. And the side view will be next to the front view. Now in this case, on the right side we will place the right hand side view. And if we want to put place the left hand side view, then it will be placed on the left side of the front view. So this is the convention of third angle projection system. Now let us look at the other two projection systems, second angle and fourth angle projection systems. So the second angle projection system will be in the second quadrant. So the object will be placed in the second quadrant. And this object is above the HP and behind VP. The observer is looking from the right side such that the plane of projection is in between the observer and the object. Plane of projection is transparent and the view is formed on, on the plane of projection. So this is the front view. For top view, the observer views from the top of the object and in this case, the object is in between the observer and the plane of projection. So the projection is made on the HP of the view that the observer sees of the object. So these are the front view and the top views. For bringing front view and top view on the same plane, we again rotate the HP clockwise. Now in this case, when we rotate the HP, you can see that the second quadrant is actually closing. Let us present the views or orthographic views for this case, which is the second angle projection system because the object is in the second quadrant. In this case, after the rotation of the HP in clockwise direction, both the front view and the top view will be presented above the reference line as shown here. So when the horizontal plane is rotated, the top view actually overlaps with the front view. So depending upon the shapes and dimensions, there will be partial or complete overlapping of the front view and the top view. The side view is presented on the right side. This is orthographic presentation in the second angle projection system. Obviously it is not a desirable situation because the front view and the top view overlap in the final presentation. 
Now let us look at the fourth quadrant or fourth angle projection system. So the object is below the HP and in front of the VP. The observer is looking from the right side such that the object is in between the plane of projection and the observer. The front view is made on the HP of the view that the observer will see. For the top view, the observer will see the object through transparent horizontal plane. The plane of projection is in between the observer and the object. So the top view will be made on the HP of the view seen by the observer above the HP. So observer is looking through the HP because HP is assumed to be transparent. Now the HP will be rotated clockwise to bring both HP and VP in 2D for the orthographic presentation. So final presentation of the front view and the top view in the fourth angle projection system will be as shown here. So the reference line XY and the front view will come below the XY. And the top view which has been rotated, the horizontal plane has been rotated downwards. So the top view will also come below the XY and in fact the front view and the top view will overlap with each other. So there is overlapping of the front view and the top view which is again not desirable. So we have seen that for the second angle projection system and fourth angle projection system, the top view and the front view they overlap with each other. Thus, we saw that in the second and fourth angle projection systems, both front view and top view appear above or below the reference line respectively. Depending upon their shape and dimensions, there will be partial or complete overlap of the two views. Therefore, we should not use second or fourth angle projection system. Only first angle and third angle projection systems are used in engineering drawing. Whether first angle or third angle projection depends upon countries' technical drawing standards. For example, USA and Japan use third angle projection systems. UK and India use first angle projection systems as per their technical standards. However, it is also necessary to be familiar with both projection systems. Now, there are symbols used for first angle and third angle. So symbols used for the two projection systems are given here. The first angle, the top one, the third angle, and the bottom one. These specific symbols are shown in the title block on the lower right corner of the drawing sheet. So for the first angle projection system, you can see that these symbols are in fact front view and the left hand side view of a frustum of a cone kept horizontally. For the third angle, also you can see these symbols are left hand side view and the front view of the frustum of a cone kept horizontally. So these symbols are specific to first angle and third angle and these symbols should be used in the drawing sheets. Another way to understand first and third angle projection systems is to think of the object inside a box. So we have placed the object inside a box. Now the views can be formed on the sides of the box. So in the first angle projection system, the views formed in the direction of sight at the far end of the box. So all the views, the, the front view, the top view, and the side views can be formed. Now we will unfold the box. So we will unfold 
all the sides of the box such that all the views become separate and after this we will flatten this unfolded box such that all the views are in 2D. So this is how it will look like when we unfold the box and this is first angle projection because all the views have been fo formed on the far end of the box. So the front view, the top view is below, left hand side view is on the right, right hand side view is on the left side. So normally only three views or four views are presented for an object. Similarly for third angle projection system also, we can place the object inside a box and in this case we will form the view on the nearer side of the box. So projected view is formed in the opposite direction of the site on the side which is nearer to the observer. Similarly the top view is formed on the side which is nearer to the observer. Now we will unfold the box so all the sides are opened up. And after flattening the, the sides, we can see all the views in 2D. So this is how all the, the views will look like in third angle projection. The front view. The top view is above the front view, the left hand side view is on the left side, the right hand side view is on the right side and there are other views as well, back side views and the bottom view. Normally only three views or four views are presented for an object. So this is representation of the third angle projection system. So here we can see the orthographic projection systems, the first angle and the third angle.